What's up friends? Today is Sunday cooking with Pam. I just decided I'm going to do a video on Sundays of cooking. I don't usually do large food preps on one day. I usually just cook a bunch for a few days and we just kind of use that. But I wanted to show you what I made today. I did a grocery store trip today. Um, I have a few items that I'll show you at the very end of this video. The first thing I'm going to show you is the veggie dish. I Lots of questions on always like, what do I do to make my veggies taste better? I had a different dish planned, but this is what I made. I'm going to turn this camera around. I made this, this is cauliflower rice, it's got some asparagus, some peppers, and garlic. So all I did was I took my garlic, if you guys watched the other video, I love to have these pre-cut, or these pre-peeled garlics, I'm on my last little pack, can't add enough garlic in my opinion, so I cut these in half, and I just saute those in um, a little bit of cooking oil. Today I just had this olive oil cooking spray, this kind does have a little bit of soy lectin in it. Um, I think that's how you say it, probably not. But, so if you don't want soy, then you don't use that one, but that has a, you can use just regular oil if you want. So I did my um, garlic in that, and then I diced up some peppers. So I diced up peppers and I put half in a baggie, so I'll use these later on in the week in another dish or in a salad and whatnot. And then I sauteed the peppers, so you wanna go harder vegetable to the softer vegetable. I used asparagus in here today. I like asparagus, even though I ate like 85 spears when I was competing. <laughs> um, and I use this frozen. I don't love frozen asparagus, but it's, obviously not in season right now I don't think anyway and so I just used that so I put in my peppers sauteed those up after I put in my garlic and sauteed it for a few minutes and then I put in my frozen asparagus that was thawed just kind of on the counter for a few minutes and I cut those up the key for me is to make sure that I cut up everything in about the same size pieces because you don't want like a long asparagus spear and like short little diced peppers just in my opinion so I put the asparagus in there. I needed a little bit more oil, but instead of that, I used my boxed stock. Okay, you guys, I got this one at Aldi as well. It's organic chicken broth. Um, I use this in everything. I use it in cooking vegetables, meat. So if you want to lower your fat consumption in your cooking, just use broth. You can use water, you can steam in water, but I just use broth. Um, so I used that till I needed to use any more. And then I added in my cauliflower rice. I buy bags of cauliflower rice at Costco, and I just threw that in there. And then I put some mushrooms, diced up some mushrooms that I bought. I Again, I diced up the other half. I'm gonna put them in a bag, um, paper bag, uh, and save those for later in the week. Then, here's my other seasoning. Coconut aminos, one of my faves. I will almost always use this. A lot of my cooking is very simple. It's basic. Um, I can cook it really quickly because when I cook, I'm usually hungry. The family's hungry. And then I just kind of saute that all up. And it looks like this. Super delish. You can eat this on its own. Um, I will probably pair this with some of uh, the turkey that I made or you can, you know, put that over a salad. You can even save the rest of it for an omelet if you are eating eggs and you like that. Super good way to get some veggies in. Uh, the other thing that I made over here is chili. And I totally have done two videos, but why would I do that? Okay, so the other one is chili. My chili recipe is really easy. Honestly, it is literally ground turkey. I will put this all in the description. It is ground turkey or you could use beef or a combination of both. Um, if you're not using meat, you don't have to. You just put more lentils or whatever you want in there. You can even use sweet potatoes, butternut squash, whatever you want, but my base is the meat. And then I add a big giant can of diced tomatoes. You can use a couple of those. I use a can of kidney beans, a can of pinto beans, and then I put as much stock as I want. Typically, I will put um, oh, and I sauteed onions and garlic. Typically, I will put a can of canned pumpkin in here, but I forgot to get it. So that usually adds some thickness. So what I did was added tomato paste, a can, a whole can of tomato paste. Here's a little trick. If you need tomato sauce, maybe you guys already know this, but this is just my non-cooking self hack. You will take tomato paste if you need tomato sauce. Take tomato paste, put it in your dish, and add stock. You guys can get low sodium if the sodium bothers you. If you are vegetarian or vegan, you can get veggie stock. You can make your own, which I've done tons of times. Um, super, super helpful to have on hand. So anyways, so you add the tomato paste, you can add the pumpkin, and then I just honestly, I just add chili powder, wherever that is. Tons of chili powder. I like to add cumin if I have it. Um, and then I just mix it all up. It's really <laughs> meat focused. Um, I was gonna show it to you, but I'm not going to. Uh, there's a lot of meat in there. 
So it's really high protein. It's less beans than maybe your average chili. It's not, doesn't have any bells, bells or whistles in it. It's literally just chili. So um, that's what I made today. So probably what will happen is we'll eat like the veggies with the chili on top and then I'll throw some kale on the top. Sometimes I'll use cauliflower rice and just put the chili on there. So anyways, so there's your two dishes that I made today. That will last us about two, two days probably because my son loves chili. So I'm gonna show you over here. Again, I could do another video, but I'm gonna do that. So this is just a couple of things that I got today at Aldi, which I was pretty impressed with. I don't always love Aldi, but I just happened to stop there because I don't like to stop in Kroger. Um, and I found these, so pretty cool. So I found this, this is just their um, red lentil brand of pasta, chickpea pasta. It's just one ingredient, red lentil chickpeas. Frozen butternut squash. These are so great to have on hand. You can get sweet potatoes as well, they had. Um, you can throw these, like I said, in any of those dishes. Um, frozen veggies, frozen Brussels sprouts. I got the frozen asparagus, a couple ba boxes of the stock. They had like, this are just random things because I don't ever know what I'm going to make. So I just make sure I have like this kind of stuff on hand. Um, hummus, and then there's carrots, which is a, a family fave. And then lots of canned beans. We have dried beans too, but when we need something fast, I like to grab the canned. Um, here are some tomatoes. I will cook that up. I was originally going to cook these with these mushrooms, but I didn't do that. Um, coconut oil cooking spray. If you're using coconut oil, it's got a medium smoke point of 350 degrees. So I like to have that. Um, and then the olive oil spray, of course. I got a bunch of other stuff, but that was stuff worth sharing. And then big cans of diced tomatoes. Again, this. Oh, so my kids, um, well, my daughter likes sausage and I don't like pork. Oh, here, I forgot. I got apple cider vinegar. I use that like in a face mask and then sometimes I'll use it in like foods or drinks. Um, I got rice cakes because I like rice cakes. So you guys, somebody messaged me today and was like, I don't like all of your food on your diet. And I'm like, it's not really weird. It's not really that different, um, honestly, than like foods that I used to eat when I was competing. It's just not as like, you know, as strict and it's got a lot more flavor. And um, yeah, it's, it, are you really just create this palette of liking whole foods and you don't get a lot of the processed stuff. And I do get processed stuff, but you don't get a lot of it and your, your body will just like, you'll enjoy the flavor of foods, okay? That's why my seasoning is always typically really basic, you know, even I'll throw oregano or basil, really um, bay leaves, like those aromatic type things, super good, but it's really basic. So anyways, I don't like pork. I don't like to serve pork. Uh, so um, we try to find sausages without pork casing. Um, it's just a personal preference. I uh, can eat pork if you want, but it's just what we choose to do or what I choose to keep out of my house since mom is the gatekeeper. Um, so this is just a decent sausage that I found. So it's apple, maple, chicken breakfast sausage. So it's something fun. It's a way to add protein. She doesn't really like eggs that much. My son will do eggs. So that's all. I know this video went kind of long. I just wanted to make sure that I show you guys something each Sunday um, in regards to food prep or um, a meal or whatever. I'm hot because I'm like steaming in here. Um, super hot. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. I have a really, two really great recipes that um, a couple of the members of the accountability group shared with me. And I'm so excited to make those this week. And then I'm going to share with you and of course to give them credit. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope this video finds you well. And some of these tips really help you.